Okay, hi guys, uh, welcome to PCF. Okay, today SSIS class is analysis service analysis uh, service processing task. Okay, by using these, we can uh, you know process uh, multi-dimensional cubes or even tabular uh, tabular uh, model uh, cubes also. Uh, so, like which process you want to do, full process or default process or incremental process, like uh, even the keys or oh, even even if you want to do the error handling on that so if the error something goes wrong so how to do and all so we can do it in the you uh, know uh, this one so let's see okay this is the task actually so let's create one more uh, package here let's go here and then create a new package so uh, you can rename it to okay rename it to uh, this one Sorry, package. So SSCS process task. SQL Server Analysis Service process task. Okay. So you can uh, just by using this task, you can process. Okay. So you you come to know look. So when uh, so even I'm covering that uh, SSCS, uh, you know SSCS tabular model also, right? How to process and all the processing things you will I will cover separately. Like so, what is the full process or what is the default process and all. I will cover in that uh, you know SSAS class, but here you have to understand what is this uh, analysis processing task. Okay, what exactly it will do? So just from SSAS you can process. Like process means so whatever the source data is there, the data will be updated to the uh, you know uh, tabular model. Okay, so tabular model or multi-dimensional model. So it will load the data into fact and dimension table. Like so, the which way you want to load and all. So that you can select from here. Okay, after configuration, you will come to know. Okay, so to, how to configure that? So just double click on that. Um, okay, double click on that. And uh, so these are the names. Like, so if you want to write something name, okay, you can go with the name and also you can write description, but I'm going with the default one. So here, uh, so in the, uh, this analysis service connection, okay, you, you need to maintain your connection here. Okay, so you can go and edit here. And so for that, so you have to go and then uh, there is a connection, right? So just go here, just uh, no. uh, so connection, analysis service is there. Just click on analysis service, whatever the server name is there. So just uh, pick that server name. Uh, so paste it here. And then uh, use this Windows uh, security authentication. And then so you can go with this uh, no, a tabular model. Okay, and then click on. Uh, so there are two more, uh, uh, you know, two uh, tabular models are there. Tabular model project seven, and then two cubes are there. So you, you can select any one. Okay, I will show you. So, so just connect that. There are two models. So how to create this tabular model and all? I have created separate video. So you can go to uh, my uh, tabular model, uh, you know, tutorial. There I have uh, how to create this tabular model and then deployed also I have seen uh, I have shown very clearly so that uh, so there are two databases like two models so I selected this two model we one model so that uh, seven is connected and then click OK so then again click OK so again you can add the process which process you want to do okay which process like so you can select which table you want to connect and the dimension table or fact table or dim table so whatever the tables you want to do you can uh, select that and then which process you want to default process this uh, full process that uh, process data clear data and these things okay i will explain uh, very clearly in um, you know tabular model tutorial guys okay even i have explaining i am going with the classes that classes also but uh, so by using this, but SSIS uh, task, okay, there is a task the, by using the task, we can process the data about the tabular model or multidimensional model. Okay, this just you understand that one. Okay, you can select the options also, which option you want to select and all. So from there, and if you don't want something, okay, you can go and then remove that. So like that, you can go and then remove and then you can add. And then there is a settings, okay, change settings here. So which process you want to, the parallel process, okay, if it is a parallel, how many number of times so how many number of times you want to parallel the process so like this many numbers you can uh, uh, let the server can decide okay if you keep the default one okay server will uh, process parallelly and uh, so even uh, sequence sequential process okay one time transaction or separate transactions okay so even you can go with that um, 
and also so i'm going with the default one i'm not changing anything so if you come to know like uh, you know write back option okay write back option means like i've explained in the tableau model write back option means a okay, user can change something and that would be saved into the tableau model so that we can uh, you know create a uh, create always and uh, use existing so that uh, that i these things okay the settings okay even the dependent objects okay if the dependent object also you want to you know process then you have to check that so but i'm not going to do anything so just click okay and uh, so if you have any expressions okay so this expression task you will come to know in the uh, expression task there is an expression task is there so once i explain that you will come to know like what is the expression task and all so there is a expression task okay once uh, i will explain so you will come to know what is the expression for now i don't have any expression and all so conditional basis like expression means there's something you can do dynamically by using expression but that will come to know no um going forward okay for now so i'm just executing this task only so this will uh, process the queue back chain so just execute that okay yeah it's executing now so it's processing the uh, yeah it's process the uh, even this tableau model also okay so even uh, if you see this okay so in the tableau model like uh, when it is processed and all so which tables are processed so but if you change something you will come to know but uh, for now so there there is no nothing changes right so like if you you know so customer table if you update something and then if you execute this so you can see the results like uh, suppose if you remove some columns from here okay so like uh, then you will come to know like uh, so what are the columns if suppose if i remove uh, any table from this model okay some something okay so if i uh, whatever i have created the model so if i uh, remove some table and then process then only two tables will be there so that kind of situation you will come to know but so definitely so if you configure perfectly so you will see that results okay not a problem so but uh, so just this is for your information only so by using this analysis service process task you can you know uh, execute you can uh, process the queues okay that is a uh, brief about the analysis task guys okay so anyhow uh, this one you will understand uh, going forward you will understand okay deeply thank you thank you so much guys thanks for your time so you will come to know so anyhow you follow my sscs classes there you will understand these things okay the process and all okay thank you so much